Dude, I love Howard the Duck. This card's really, really fun. It's so nice knowing which card you're going to draw next. You can make some big plays, especially if your deck is running cards like Jubilee or Iron Lad that are already uh, playing off the top of your deck with their effects. So I wanted to toss Howard into a deck that's already running Jubilee to great success. Lockjaw is one such build. Because if you play Jubilee in your Lockjaw lane, you can often just cheat a couple gigantic cards into play. Now, the normal Lockjaw, Thor, Jane Foster decks run like really big threats like Infinots and Gigantos and stuff. But those aren't as exciting with Iron Lad. So I kind of threw together this like on reveal, like Iron Lad synergy Lockjaw Thor thing that you see here behind me or above me on screen. And I toss in a Professor X because that's really fun as well. If you know you're getting Professor X off like your Iron Lad, uh, that can be an awesome play to set up for Howard. So uh, listen, this deck was not great. It went about exactly 50-50 for me. I'm gonna have some better Howard uh, decks over the next couple days, but this one was certainly chaotic and fun. And I got some really crazy games uh, with this one in particular. So enjoy my very first foray into some Howard the Duck action where we get to see uh, just how fun and how crazy this card can be. I can't, I honestly can't explain it. I'm making stuff up. Wasp on the top, all right. Warrior Falls, a little scary for Thor for at least a little while. What's our top card? Jubilee. Okay, so Iron Lad Jubilee is pretty legit. Oh, we're drawing Jubilee. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, we shuffled with Thor. Oh my God, we shuffled with Thor. I'm an idiot. Iron Lad, uh, Odin's pretty cool though. That's pretty cool. And then we, we, we Jane Foster. We hit two Mjolnirs. Yeah, that's actually really cool. Iron Lad, Odin. I love it, dude. That's awesome. It's a good Iron Lad, man. Oh, we'll get him four. We probably want to play those on six, of course. Yeah, do we like Jane left? That should be fine. We kind of know what we're getting. We're going to go like Doom. Mjolnir's. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we could put Wasp in now just in case of any... I don't know, one extra buff or something. I do kind of want to lose priority for the record. Could arguably put her here, but but I don't. It, I, I, it's too much, too much power commitment, right? We we would like losing priority, but whatever. Because we worry about Shang Chi basically. Shang Chi mid scary. Although they're filling mid, so maybe it's not scary. Ah, it's a race. Okay. Ooh, it's a challenging race, maybe. So this has five and 12 is 17. Yeah, we're only down 12, so this should be fine. Even if they shuffle in a little more on the Dark Hawk, a five point net, they'd have to shuffle in three rocks for Dark Hawk. Oh, wait, my brainy minds will. Oh, I gotta be careful. I can't put Wasp there. Gotta put Wasp here. We're at eight. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that should be fine, right? 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. Because they might think they're gonna win by brainy minds or or right, but in reality, we're fine. Cosmo would be a bit of a risk, right, I guess, but ultimately still pretty chill. I mean, they knew I had two Mjolnirs, right? Um, I don't know. Why did that look closer than I thought, by the way? Oh, Core got it a little, yeah. It's part of the reason. Cool, good win, dude. Howard clutching it, man. Iron Lad clutching it. That was a good game. Ooh, we love. Hey, it's Binks. We know him. Uh, Limbo game. Okay, that's kind of scary for us because we can kind of run out of steam a little bit, but. Uh... We both. We both sorry at it. Oh, Sokovia. Dude, I think he might be playing a similar deck. He's got Jubilee. That's funny. Thor coming, we love. That's good news. Oh, Zabu in his deck, though. Okay. Maybe like Zabu Iron Lad stuff. Oh, Bar with no name. This game's crazy, dude. This game's crazy. 
Uh, Thor is one of our higher power plays. I think we're okay with putting it next to Howard. Uh, Mr. Fantastic can't go mid. Yeah. Oh, but we could use Magneto. Oh, no, we lost Magneto. Did we lose Magneto? Is that what I discarded? Dang it, dude, we lost Magneto. Oh, oh, does this win? Does this win mid? Seven power. Oh my God, dude, does it win? I'm going for it, guys. It's seven. I don't know. Might not be enough. No! Oh, oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's actually totally fine. He only has two spots left to play. He only has two spots left to play. Can he get any extra power here? He no, no wait, he knows I have that right, so that's not right. That's not correct. I, I play I play Lady Thor and then I get uh I get Mjolnir and we're just big left. Like I I can't guarantee a tiebreaker wins here though, right? Well, I could still maybe draw a Mjolnir and play it right. If I go for the tiebreaker here, what would he play in this deck? Super Scrolls on Fantastic, maybe like a Gamora or something. What do you guys think? Should I go now or not? Oh yeah, I need to see. Oh yeah, Doctor Doom. It's only a five point advantage and I, I have a three point here. So does he play something eight or bigger? Does he play something eight or bigger? What is it? Is Howard the Duck? <laughs> it's another Howard the Duck. <laughs> okay, so I need to draw. Well, I mean, we're currently winning a tie break, but I, if I draw Mjolnir, we should we should be fine. <laughs> oh yeah, I can check. Oh yeah, I'm dumb. I keep forgetting I can check. Yeah, it's not. Unless somehow the deck shuffles. No, there's no way. He really does hit Mjolnir. If he has spice, like if he has like a Scarlet Witch or something or some kind of spicy play. Spectrum maybe? Yeah, I'm gonna play the Jubilee into the hammer. Okay, they just retreat. <laughs> That's boring. If I play Jane here on five, he can play a Spectrum and win this. Like it, when we see four ongoing cards, you have to assume Spectrum probably. It's hard to know because we're on the day one of a new card. I, I don't know what he actually has, right? Okay, Iron Lad and Jubilee both pretty good for Kiln. Can we find the Howard though, man? One time Howard. Do we put Thor left? Is that an overcommitment? Probably not. It would be if Iron Lad hit like Jubilee. <laughs> Otherwise, probably not. Oh, New York anyway. Okay, cool. We don't have to commit anything. We can bail out as needed. Does Howard quack when you click on him? I, I, it, doesn't he talk? I think he speaks English. Does he quack? Seems a little uh, rude to suggest he might only be capable of quacking. I don't know. Face the might of Asgard, Giving me the nebula is an interesting choice. I do like it though. Kind of good to go in kiln, but I also really want to play Iron Lad on curve, right? I, I don't think it's I don't think it's right to put it there. So I want to play. Well, actually, I don't really need to play Foster with um, with Mjolnir down. Same time, I don't want to float three here. All right, for some unknown reason, give me this Mjolnir back. Give it back to me. Just Jeff, huh? Oh, it's Howard! Oh, cool! All right. Howard, well, of course, dude. <laughs> I don't know why I'm always surprised every time. I, I keep thinking of Jubilee, right? She actually pulls the card out, so she is so distinct from Howard. But uh, obviously, when it's Iron Ladder, you're, you're gonna get that card, bro. Thinking there, there there's a, I wish I could move Thor instead of Iron Lad, right? Jubilee's at the top, but we're actually drawing Chavez always. Uh, I should have played her mid anyway. I can move her to New York and, and deny the Nebula. This is just wrong. I mean, it's not always wrong if we're thinking about Professor X type stuff, but often wrong, maybe, let's say. Maybe actually right for Professor X. 
I don't know, I can still contest Machine World pretty well in that case too, so I'm not, I'm not so sure about that. All right. So if I do move Iron Lad, there is actually a little risk that they move Jeff over or do something like a Jeff Doctor Doom type play to win. So I could try to just leave it and, and, and you know, just Odin or whatever. That's nine and we're up by five. I do think this plays around more shenanigans, right? If they move Starlord over there at eight, it wouldn't be that hard for them to add nine power necessarily. What do we think is their most common six drop? Like what's more of a risk? Something like a Doctor Doom snipe left? Odin makes no sense. I guess you've never heard of Shang-Chi. If I play a Chavez, I'm susceptible to removal. Because I reveal first. If you think one point of power makes a difference, I would want to hear a break point, maybe. This moving plus like a Magneto, yeah. In which case, I would want to move Iron Lad. I, I don't know if moving Iron Lad's right or wrong. It's really hard to say. Victory. How's Howard going? I mean, I think he's totally okay. <laughs> I mean, this is absolutely harmless. Mostly harmless, as someone might put it. Uh, just, uh, <laughs> I mean, just, I, you know, I don't think there's a great compelling reason to run him, to be honest. It, it helps sometimes, sure, but not like, I don't, you know, I'm trying to frame this in a way that's not going to make people mad. I think he's totally fine. I don't have any other way to put it. He's fine. He's had some cool moments. He's had some boring moments. Uh, some decks will like him more than others. He's incredibly average. That's my takeaway. No Dr. Doom, so don't risk losing super flow here. Yeah, well, I don't know if any card's really worth 6,000 tokens because that is such an outrageous price to pay for a digital collectible. But uh, <laughs> I guess you get tokens for free at some level. But, but uh, Oh, dude, let's go. Okay. Would have preferred Thor come out first somehow, but yeah, it's a little low, but yeah. 15 with the option to add more, I guess, is still pretty chill. Feels weird to do this because you, you want to see immediately what's on the Iron Lad. But I don't know, maybe it'll hit uh, Professor X and we're chill. I only have a play next turn other than Mjolnir, though. Uh, I don't know. Hit hey, Professor. Oh, Jubilee. Okay. Did that seem really tiny or was I seeing things? I, I, I don't know. Oh, dude! Let's go! Big! Big stats. All right. Sabertooth mid. Uh. Oh, I can still play Jane. Yeah, we got super flow. We got super flow. We're chilling. We're chilling. Perfect. Do we worry about wave at all? If they play Wave, do I want to play Mjolnir or, or Chavez, right? And if I do want to play Chavez, do I play Mjolnir now? This is technically one more power if they Wave, but it's a lot less power if they don't Wave. So it's just, you know, if they Wave, this is slightly, ever so slightly worse. But if they don't Wave, it's better to, it's better to wait, so I don't know. Oh man, that's probably good for us, I think. Although they have some flexibility, so hard to say. Do you guys think there's any risk of like, um, Artem Zola or something with this Venom? Cause that would be a reason for Professor X, like another destroy effect. Otherwise, obviously Chavez is better, but the thing is Chavez doesn't win this anyway. It, it, we only go to 17 to 19. So what's the point of a Chavez, right? She doesn't do anything. I mean, I guess technically if I don't know what their plan is though. How do they win? Just power power, right? If they play power, right? I just can't win Oh, well, wait now they can move before professor X goes off, right? So they can move venom, right? I guess there's some argument that they like move venom, right? And then I need to be big mid Professor X doesn't stop the move so technically I don't know they're snapping they're feeling good about something. I don't know what it is though. 17 is not hard to get with, with two cards to me. in a in a destroy deck, that is. Yep. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't think we had a way to stop this, right? Their math was just a little too perfect, right? Early Bast plays. Did you? I didn't get to play this weekend during the uh, peak uh, featured location, guys. Did, did you guys have fun? Playing crazy uh, peak decks with crazy Iron Mans and Artem Zolas and whatever else. Ooh. A little late, Howard, by the way. A little late, buddy. This hits Lockjaw, do we play a Wasp? I don't know. Maybe. See a Bast? Peak was miserable for you? Ooh. Jubilee. Jubilee Lockjaw? Oh, called it! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's good, but we called it. Uh, Thor, okay. It's nice that we can add power there. We're not totally locked in on that, at least. That's pretty cool. Um, I think we're better off going, like, power here, right? Like, Doom's just not good enough. Times two, even. I think we need power. This draw is two, which is fine. I only have three cards back anyway, so... Uh, oh, wait, wait, do I get the... No, okay, good, yeah. I'm gonna get the Sentinel first. Ooh, that could change things a little bit. Because now we have Mjolnir Odin plays. We can do this into Odin next turn. It is a little bit less power right, but it's way more power mid and way more power left. Uh, we know Howard is exactly Chavez, but I guess it's okay. It's only two Doom spots anyway, right? Okay, yeah. That looks pretty good. Mjolnir, to me. Or is a little susceptible to Shang Chi, which is not. Well, I was gonna say not common in bounce decks too much, but kind of hard to get a read on the opponent's deck exactly. Magic is throwing me for a bit of a loop on like a normal bounce. Maybe, maybe it looks like a Deadpool bounce, huh? Because oh, that could get destroyed. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it's a big loss. Dang. Okay. Uh all right man. This is this is definitely winnable. 25 left. 24 left. No, 25 left. 13 mid. 21 right. That's that's gonna be tough to play for. I mean the Deadpool's big, so it's not impossible, but a little tough. Mjolnir, to me! Howard, you are no use here. As always. Oh, that's spicy. That's fine. Wait, it just goes back to hand, though. Oh, no, no, it's still copies. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. Yeah, not enough, though. I feel like that was maybe a little overconfident. I mean, they probably just wanted to play their deck. Huh? I don't know if they thought they were going to win necessarily, but. <sighs> Pretty cool, though. Good win for us. All right, Howard, go get him, buddy. We're playing a sh Oh, hey! Uh, uh, All right, Jubilee off the top. It'd be cool if you could click your opponents and see it. <laughs> a little unfair, maybe. Lockjaw next. All right, we like Lockjaw. That's good. Lockjaw we can put left, probably. Jubilee, we might want to go mid. Just double roll it. It's really good into a lot of our cards, too. Thor, Doom, Iron Lad are all pretty solid. Yeah. Oh wait, what's our top card? Hold up. It's gonna be Iron Lad. Okay. So she's gonna pull Iron Lad. He's gonna go off twice, whatever he is. Could be Thor, could be Doom, could be Foster. Shouldn't be Chavez yet, because I'm not shuffling until after. I'm cool with this, man. Let's see. This is gonna be nuts though. Iron Lad into what, dude? Thor! Okay, I'll take it. That's cool. Yeah. We just need to hit Mjolnir on Comertage next. Oh, we can't. Oh, but that's good too. Oh, cloning vats is insane with Jane. And the hammers. Okay. So, oh, but, but, but he, oh no. He actually doesn't gain the power of Thor. Oh, Yondu killed the Thor. Crap. Crap. Uh, crap. 
Oh, they don't care. They're done. They don't care. Iron Lad doesn't gain the Mjolnir power. It has to be Thor himself. So we needed the Thor to be alive and then Yondu screwed it, man. Ooh. Jubilee feels so much better. Really susceptible to Shang-Chi with this sort of hand, but that's okay. It's gotta happen sometimes. Lockjaw Jubilee, okay. I do feel like sometimes Lockjaw Jubilee is like a bit of an overcommitment, but uh... That's all right. I think we try to win Shuri's lab with just like one big Magneto, don't we? Sometimes that's enough. I need Wasp so I can play Professor X right. Just Wasp left. Jeff though, I forgot about Jeff. That won't even help. Rock slide, no. No, <laughs> no. Not like this. Okay, we didn't hit the rocks. Did hit a wasp here to fill my hand though. I mean, what do I do here to win, right? So many rocks in the deck, is that really correct? I mean, I do want some power here. Yes, but... Magneto mid is 24, 26. I mean, do they feel safe mid? They're snapping. I, 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 don't, I don't know where to go here. Maybe, maybe we wasp. Next turn on, on Lockjaw. I was using it as the activator, but if we're playing uh, Sentinel anyway, it's probably fine. Darkhawk right. Oh, dang. Okay. Shoot. I did not expect that. Magneto does move the Darkhawk, though. I think... I want to go for a Wasp right here to beat the Jeff. Are they going to play two cards here is the question. And did they snipe left is another question. No Mjolnir, so I don't have an easy win right. Jeff is locked in. If I hit Dr. Doom, I could do the same. The one in, what, what? It doesn't matter because it's random anyway. Iron Lad could also hit Dr. Doom. Jubilee's dead though. It's very likely to hit a bunch of rocks. I have Milner and Dr. Doom and Iron Lad as potential outs. Iron Lad's a soft out. That's like two out of seven, two and a half out of seven. Oh, they did leave a space. Oh, but they played the Dr. Doom. So that means right's gone for me. I gotta hit, I gotta hit Mjolnir or Dr. Doom here to pull it back, dude. Oh God, I, I don't even, I think it actually has to be Dr. Doom. Or Mjolnir, I mean. <gasps> Mjolnir? Oh, Iron Lad, you idiot. It had to be uh, Mjolnir to go. I, I don't want a tiebreaker, right? You know, 11 to 16. Joe, I just gave you four cubes. Be nice to me, man. Be chill, Joe. Don't be rude, Joe. We don't have any counters to ongoing. No enchanters or anything. Yeah, some of our best stuff's in hand, unfortunately, for this Jubilee. She has a lot of low rolls right now. Professor X is risky because we know there's a Patriot coming later to buff stuff. Oh, we picked the right spot for the Lockjaw, I guess. Uh... How do I win? How do I win? Professor X doesn't seem to win much. Okay, well, I guess I'm full mid. I hate this. <laughs> I hate this so much, dude. I just hate it, dude. Please make it stop. Oh, that's a good roll. Okay, we're big at least. We're big. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, Thor draws a lot here for us. That's pretty good. She's big too, right? Um, do I play Wasp here just to avoid hitting a, a crappy Wasp roll uh, left? It would suck if I hit Jubilee, but everybody else is insane to hit. We're drawing Chavez anyway next turn, so I don't have to worry about the mines. Oh, no, we're not drawing Chavez. I do have to worry about the mines. Well, who cares? They're fine. Actually, the decent draw compared to the rest of the deck anyway, maybe. All right. Could roll a Mjolnir too, I guess. I forgot about that. Blue Marvel. All right. Let's make Odin pretty cool. Mjolnir, to me. Widow. Oh yeah, see, don't worry about the mines. I told you guys, screw the mines. Odin puts me at 16 left. That feels pretty good. Is it a little overkill? Could go like Dr. Doom Widow's Bite. I do feel like I need to buff mid again though, maybe. We're only up eight. Shang-Chi would own me regardless, so that's not a threat. I think this is fine, right? Seems okay to me. Seems pretty good. Just don't Shang-Chi me, dude. Don't Shang-Chi me, dude. The only fact they only played two cards is making me real nervous right now. <laughs> I think that's Shang-Chi mid. Oh, maybe not. Never mind. Vibranium's not big enough, dude. The Thor gets it. Thank you, Thor. Joe, he gave us our cubes back. Appreciate it. Turn about. See, I knew if I donated cubes, he'd give me some too. And did Sauron move to three? I don't understand your question. He's always been a three, three. All right, Howard. We actually have Plunder Castle plays in the stack. I feel like every time I see Plunder Castle. Oh, series three. Oh, oh, duh, of course. That's the only thing he would even move to anyway. Uh, I don't know. I'm not good at keeping track of the series stuff. I'm so sorry. I'm really, really bad at that. So Magneto's on the top now. That's a good Plunder Castle play. Mbaku Pixel, dude. Uh, Dr. Doom, but remember Lockjaw doesn't pull from the top. I'm just looking at thinking about Iron Lad would be, would be amazing this turn. Uh, this is going to shuffle the deck, so it is going to change, which is kind of nice because it kind of puts the Dr. Doom somewhere else where Iron Lad might actually be able to hit it, which is pretty chill. Yeah, we don't want to rely on Dark Dimension, I don't think, for Lockjaw, so we'll put him mid even if we only got one spot available. Oh, chill. Yeah, that's great. Thank you, Professor X. Oh, it didn't shuffle the deck. Well, maybe it did, but this was in the top anyway. Okay. I think it shuffles the deck, but that just seems like bad luck. Uh, okay, whatever. Iron Lad's fine. Just power rights. Cool. Uh, next turn we play Foster, Foster right, and finish on Magneto left and hope for the best. I don't know. I don't think Dr. Doom left makes more sense, does it? I don't think so. Like, look, I don't think we're going to win right, but I, I don't know if they can beat a Magneto left. What's on the top of the deck for... Can't see! It's Jubilee, that's pretty good. That's going to pull, like, an Odin. Or a Ju Of course it's going to pull a Jubilee. What <laughs> Why did I say it's going to pull, like, an Odin? No, nah, it's a copy. We're not pulling it off the lockjaw. <laughs> Oh, super scroll. That's fun. Okay. Oh, yeah. Good try, man. Oh, I guess this had nothing to pull because we revealed first, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy game. Easy game, actually. Easy game. <laughs>